Hey guys, so uh, a bunch of you guys were asking questions um, about how to do collision hulls and collision meshes. So I'm going to chew a, do a little quick video on that. It's going to be a couple minutes. Uh, I'm also going to cover one other problem that I found people asking about. And this is actually why there was no VMT file made. The only problem that I've found and reason for it, because uh, I actually couldn't remember running into it like that person said I had, uh, the problem that I found was actually called uh, multi-sub problems, or it's a, it's a multi-sub object problem. So the model, if you're importing it from somewhere else, could be using uh, what's called a multi-sub object. And it basically means you can use multiple materials for one model. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's a wallworm problem for exporting or whether it's actually um, a source problem itself, but the it, it either way it comes down to instead of having... Uh, like one image for diffuse for for like wood in my case and then having another for metal for example they they basically do go on the same they could go on the same TGA or PNG or whatever uh, but the way that they got rendered out was on separate ones because it was on a per material basis so you have to kind of suck it up and just just to show what I mean like if you open up Wallworm, if I pick this model which has the, the multi-sub uh, material on it and go into export VTFs, my VMTs are here, but my VTF file. Yeah, the VTF file is not here. So if I close that and put my one where I've actually gone through and put all the textures together, so like now my wood and my metal textures are both here, uh, when I go to did not want to minimize that. If I go back and go select again, export VTF, my VMT and my VTFs are all here. So that's the only way I found to solve that. Um, I don't know, like I said, if there's other problems that are related to it, but that's what I found. So I'm just going to go with that. Uh, so on to the collision mesh. So I'm going to show the quick way that's probably going to end up being much more detailed of a collision mesh than you really need. Uh, and that's using Wallworm's uh, quick hull. So for example, if you've got your thing selected and you hit quick hull, it'll make a collision mesh for you. Uh, and this is all fine and dandy. It's annoying for some reason. It kind of offsets it like that. I have not figured out why it does that probably like a pivot point problem or something uh, but yeah so this would entirely work if you position it back where it's supposed to be uh, relative to your model the biggest problem is that it's pretty high poly for being a, a collision mesh especially for something like a, a treasure chest It'd be good if you needed it to be exact but in most cases you really don't you don't need it to be exact you can get away with having it um, pretty low poly so I'm just gonna actually delete that and I'm gonna make a quick low poly one just to show the process uh, so we'll make a box here and just put it to about there uh, we'll just convert it to an edible poly gonna bring that back in a bit bring this one back in a bit like the, the biggest thing for collision meshes is they don't have to be exact in most cases. Like I said earlier, they just got to be pretty close. It's kind of an estimation. Like for ground and stuff like that, you want it to be fairly close. But other than that, you can kind of get away with it. So I'm just going to kind of lazy it a bit here. And I'm going to add three segments or wraparounds. I could make this much more low poly, but it's just a kind of show you guys how to do it. Uh, so I'm going to go like that and I'll also just for making it a little bit closer go like that. So this would be a collision mesh if my chest was never going to open. Uh, for example, uh, let me just hide this. If I wanted to go, let me just rename it actually. So, if I, for example, when I was modeling this chest, I wanted it to be opened, 
and stuff like that. I never got around to doing it. I never got around to making the, the texture for the coins and whatnot. But, for example, if I wanted to be able to do it and have a collision mesh for it, what I'd have to do is actually um, make several of them. So I could go and make it fairly low poly by doing like this to get one for that. And then for the lid, I'd actually have to go and make a couple of different ones. I'd have to make one for this area, like this whole wall piece, another for this wall piece. And then if I was going to make it, I'd probably do it in another three boxes or so, like one for these three panels, one for these top two, and then one for these three. Just pretty much the same way as what I did with the other collision mesh. But that makes it so that the collision mesh isn't concave because most game engines will look at you like you're retarded if you give it a, a concave collision mesh. It just becomes a lot harder to actually figure out what to do with it, so you have to do something like that. And then, most cases, it has no problem with it, because you've made it into completely convex um, collision hulls. But anyways, I'm not doing it that way, because I don't want to, and it's... I was just trying to explain why a different way you could do it, because I know somebody's going to ask, especially uh, one of the guys that was, yeah, I think it was this one that was doing the car. Yeah, for doing the car, you'd have to do one for like the, the A-bar, one for the hood, one for the tires, one for the A-bar back here, one for the roof. If you wanted to be able to like get into it, run around and whatnot. So just so you're aware for that. Now that you have your I don't want to listen to myself in double time. So anyways, so we'll just uh, unhide that collision mesh again. And we will pick hull, and you see it picks up. So now it's not concave. We're going to give it a mass of like, I don't know, 150 or something. I want to make it kind of heavy. I'm not sure actually if, I can't remember if 150 is heavy or not in Gmod or Source. Uh, for the fun of it, we'll give it a wood plank sound. That way, when we crowbar it later, it actually sounds like a wood plank. And we'll just call it treasure chest. So we'll export the QC and model. We're just going to go through the same method that we did uh, last time in the other two videos. So it gets exported. Export the VTF. As you can see, my VMT and my VTFs are both here because I've got them all in the same uh textures this time. So, that's just supposed to be up. Uh, so, I'll go and get my uploader. Jim Poo. Poo. And we'll go and I already made a folder for this stuff, but because uh, I was testing it out to make sure that I knew what I was talking about before I made the video. Uh, so, we'll throw the one that we just made into materials and we'll do the same with the models so now we've got that I already made an icon earlier again just because I was testing it out so I'm not going to go and re-render it if you need to know how to do the icon earlier it's just you have to do a 512 by 512 image it has to be a JPEG uh, that's really all there is to it so we'll find the folder it's on my desktop and it's Trish chest Set. Contract just with collision. It is a model and it's realistic and fun. It'll do all your homework for you. Oh, and didn't select my icon. So, there we go. Everything is ready to go. And let's execute this. And hopefully, it doesn't make me look bad. Yeah, it's uploaded. It's all good. So we're uh, going to go to here. Check out my workshop page. Chess, chess with collisions here. And we will subscribe just to get it in. And we'll also make it public. Just for clarity's sake. Anyways, we'll go back. We'll go to Gmod. I have no idea what game bar is. It keeps on popping up. 
And we will go to start a new game. Well, it downloads my treasure chest. I just really hope it works again, because I did it before and it worked fine. So hopefully it doesn't make me look like a liar <laughs> and make me redo the video. <laughs> again, anybody that saw my last videos, my the script errors are still there, because I haven't played Gmo in a while. Uh, so it's going to be under add-ons. And it'll be under treasure chest. And now you can see it's got weight. It's got enough weight that it pulling it towards me uh, hurt. And I can step on it from the other side because it's a little bit lower. Or at least I could for a second there. So yeah, as you can see, you can actually, it's got collision, everything's good. Let's see if I can just... I don't know why it's stuck on the other side. Anyways, so you can see my chest. It's got all the right textures. It's got weight and it's got collision. And it's got collision how it's supposed to be. So uh, yeah, that concludes the video. Let me know if you guys run into any problems. Um, I will try to troubleshoot it, but again... Like, this is pretty much just an extra button check when it comes to doing collision. Uh, like I said, you can either use Quick Hull or make your own, and that's about it. So, uh, yeah, if you guys have any other videos that you want done, whether it's uh, making uh, how to do modeling correctly, holy crap, I'm totally going to die. I don't know how I didn't die there. Uh, <laughs> if you guys got any other videos you want me to make, uh, let me know. I'll see if I can make them or not. I, I make no promises being able to get them done, but uh, yeah, I'll give it a shot if I can make them. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it, and give me comments if you run into problems or want more videos.